And good evening and welcome to Zelda One Randomizer. We are here in week one of Swiss and we have a pretty decent uh, match here for our 10 p.m. match. We have C. Falcon, who has been in several of these tournaments, and a previous winner in Town. I'm Ed Ryder, working, joined by Tracy M. How are you? Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I, I, a couple of days ago, I messaged you and said, okay, what race do we want to sign up for? And we had a couple in mind, but this is the one that worked out best given everybody's schedules. And yeah, it's a good one. And you know, these runners would love to start off going one and O oh here to start off. We do know of a few names that are in that O oh and one gauntlet now that they really don't want to have the face. So we'll see what winds up happening. And both of these runners getting all set and ready to go. Here we I mean, go. That's what you get with randomized Swiss. You get you get some uh, interesting match, more balanced matchups in the first round potentially. And you get some scary matchups for the O one for the O ones in the second round. All right, so we have Riverboat Robert against Sai. Yeah, Sai keeping it Sai down, keeping it simple. And I, I'm not sure what Riverboat Robert refers to. Maybe that's something you know, but uh, it's different. I have not seen that before. So, um, so one thing to note: Sea Falcon's name is. Mm -hmm. I guess you can figure that out based on the um, screen names here. Uh -huh. And I have a feeling they have to gamble if they're going to take on Sightown. Mm, okay, Hence I like it. Boat. I like it. All right, where do you think we're starting? Where or what? Because we get an item. No, where do you think we're starting? Oh, let's 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 start out. There's one Death Mountain starting spell. Let's start there. All right. Runners are about ready to get going. We are about ready to see where we start. It is Pandola Star. Well, that's boring. <laughs> but we were just going to try Rosetta Stone. We're not uh, counting on anyone. <laughs> All right. We'll get these runners in sync in just a moment here as we try to get this blue arc drive to cooperate. Maybe it drops bombs. No. Oh, gosh. Four I, so see that Falcon. was at least four shots on there. Yes, maximum. Sightown getting the first bomb drop. Yeah, 36 for a mid. I, I believe that was 4 HP on the Red Gurria, so we're not going to have a nice, easy bomb dropper on the overworld, likely, which is kind of awful, but uh, looks like we're getting a raft start because uh, Sightown hitting over to the raft spot. Yep, that yep, is a raft. Confirmed. From by Saitown or by Sea Falcon. I, I, I like how uh, Saitown's crossing the river as, as uh, Sea Falcon's setting. Uh, checking it. <laughs> Bombs picked up there for Sea Falcon, so we are going to be able to check this coming up. Yeah, you want to be able to check these early spots if you can. Bombs for 13. 13 not repeat. bad. Right, bomb spot not bombing over on Sea Falcon side. Now I was doing we were, we were talking about the math yesterday of this during your race. Uh, so there's there are there are eleven. So this is a mixed quest overworld, but it's first quest mixed. So there are eleven first quest only spots, and there are twenty second quest only spots. Uh, what that means is of the potential uh, spots, if you can count to eleven, you could stop there. But counting's hard. <laughs> Yes, we're Zelda one runners. We don't know how to count. <laughs> 17 well, only for the, the door 10. repair charts. Yeah, we could count to 10. That's it. Uh, but the other thing uh, that means is I, I did a little bit of extra math there. It turns out that uh, about 35% chance of any one of those spots actually opening. So, you know, we often say, oh, this spot never opens. It's because like, they're favored to not open. <laughs> nice. Ring is our okay, right so item. you know, at least we don't really have to worry about coming back to that with hearts. Um, Sightown might stop taking hearts early. I, he's he's known for stopping at six hearts to make sure he gets that white sword item. Well, he knows he doesn't need that white sword item, so yeah, we'll we'll see if uh, uh, he's certainly never going to come back to that, and probably not going to take go too far out of his way for for too many hearts. I do like how both of these runners are covering kind of the same ground, although it looks like we are about ready to get a minor divergence as Sea Falcon wants to see what we have over at the uh, level one location. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Raft generally could have to be the worst of the starting items. It doesn't really open up too much extra. And one of those extra spots is way out of the way. And I say Sea Falcon got the better end of this deal because he did find the Any Roads. Got one to the grave. One, yeah, good one to Death Mountain. That's a good one. And the last one, a different part of Death Mountain. So, decent Any Roads. Uh, the biggest problem is they're not really close to start. Hint shop for Sidetown. We won't be able to do that for a while because, uh, well, no book. And Sea Falcon, with bombs in hand, is going to do some of these Death Mountain spots. I, I like that you don't have a candle. Might as well do things nowhere near a candle. Nowhere near a burn bush. And I do... Oh, there's a candle for yep, Sidetown. Yeah, Sidetown's taking the candle for sure. And I do like Sidetown's uh, methodology here of wanting to get to where the Armo site yes. is. I mean, but. you mentioned my rate. <laughs> There's the Armo item right there. An oh, item we already have. Oh gosh, you know when the Armo item is the starting item, I just feel really, really sad. And Cytone, if he continues to rush the Armos, is going to end up over there as well and be very sad. But he's got the candles, so he's got a lot of spots over here to check before uh, I think he'll go ahead back that way. Nine small secret. What was the, the medium? I want to say 34. Uh, candle for Sea Falcon. Seven meat, ninety-eight arrows. Not too bad. And that's a little high on the arrows, but the meat meat is a pretty nice price. Yeah, and the arrows being uh, eighteen above its normal price is the rough not great. Of that. Yeah. And we get ourselves another take any over here. Okay, so Falcon done with his little bit of a uh, Death Mountain foray is going to go and start burning things over near start. 36 for the mid-secret. 36 is good. Whistle at the ladder spot. Yeah, well, we uh, may or may not need that. Yeah, this, this flag set does not have a guaranteed block dungeon. Mainly, I, I think it was basically the idea was that there are so many uh, extra blocked locations, 10 extra recorder spots, 3 extra power bracelet spots, and the two ladder spots. There really wasn't a need to, to guarantee that something is blocked. Because usually just something is. And by the way, if you were putting any guesses on what you thought was going to be the first uh, dungeon found, we found level 9, a level we can't do. <laughs> yeah, that, that seems to happen sometimes. By the way, this is one of your 11. That was 85 rupee key, though, for there for Sea Falcon. It's not terrible. One thirty-seven on secret. the big secret. That's a nice one. <laughs> As I don't find out the same info. <laughs> Different spot. That's a vanilla large secret too. I think was that was he in the? No, he was at the letter cave. Never mind. Close to vanilla. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was at the letter. One off. Okay, All level right. eight. So we know that we don't have two Q eight. Yeah, we have a very quick Triforce in... in hmm, a very <laughs> a very quick ladder-blocked Triforce. At least potentially. There's a letter for Sightown. This looks to me for Sea Falcon 1Q8. I feel like I need to see the very start again. Started in that... Uh, that extended neck... 49.53 for your potion prices. You know, and, and Sightown says, you know what, I'm just going to take care of this right now. I have the money for it. It's really cheap. I like it. Uh, probably won't need it for a while. We don't know if we have any second quest involved today. So we may, may or may not uh, have to deal with bubbles. All right. That's four. That's five. That's dead. <laughs> Oops. I mean, he was beeping, so not really 
It's Bryce. He's gonna save his progress we got, and probably start burning things closer to home. We got we got second quest one through six. Oh yeah, shooty Stalfos. Which means everybody's favorite. I think Elso is calling a different race. Has been pushing that level four quest two four is a good dungeon. He's wrong, of course, but <laughs> and he's not here to defend himself. <laughs> I just remember back in 2020 facing off against Del Soa and losing because of uh, 2Q4 against him. Yeah, I could see it. That was the random uh, 2%, the random percent 2 t tournament there. And the floor item in 2Q4 <laughs> was the silvers. Ooh, yeah, yeah. That's a nasty floor item to have to look for. We are going to find a trans for a staircase for Sea Falcon here in this 8. It could be, you know, 50-50, it's an item. It is, of course, a transport. Gets him to new territory. See, Falcon's going to use the key right now. Makes sense. More Dodongos. More Dodongos. And there's another one of our 11 right there. Oh, oh boy. Goma. That looks like that. There's a good chance that's an item, too. Yeah, I, I, my spidey senses are tingling. We found a third secret already. Oh, got all our three larges? Nice. Yeah, Sea Falcon found one of them. Saitown has now found two of them. Right. Okay, here's a promising spot. Yeah, this is one you hope is an item, and you hope that that gome was just a decoy. Well, the problem is there's two staircase items in eight. Yes, you're right. But you still hope that that Goma is a decoy. Yeah, oh, of course. <laughs> okay, heart in the stairs. Double heart eight so far. I try bombing this way to see. Okay, here we go. And you still can't get the Triforce. You are ladder blocked. Gee, where have I seen multiple heart eights and a tri Triforce ladder block before. <laughs> I don't know. Well, hopefully you can come back with both a bow and a ladder, pick up the Triforce, and, and go for that uh, suspicious-looking Goma spot. Yeah, agreed. All right. Uh, sea Falcon checking the, what we call, the forgotten spot. Uh, Side Town does explore the any roads, which we saw earlier. he started from a different spot. I think he started from the grave area. Yeah, he he wrapped around to the grave area to start his uh, exploration of the warps. Yeah, I gotta leave some of this money behind because doesn't want to pick up another large secret with 207 rupees. And hopefully we'll be able to come back to them if if he needs them. I'm gonna find that sad little raft that we don't need. Gonna lose uh, some of those rupees, but we're all fine here. Yeah, I mean, these runners are not typically ones that are worrying about saving up for a blue ring, so... Being uh, in the in the high 100s, low 200s, is a pretty good place to be. It lets you afford your arrows when you find them, you can probably buy a, get a bomb upgrade. Steve Falcon into 2Q6. Yep, and 2Q6 always has that same shoot room with the mat with an item 
um, a drop, not necessarily an item, on, on that left side. In this case, it's the map. In case there was any doubt. Oh, ladder and six. Ladder. I think that is the vanilla ladder location. That is not the room that the ladder would be in in, in vanilla uh, 2Q6. Yes, I believe you that are is right. the room. It is the room. And Saitam picks up the boomerang. You know, I like the boomerang. I think the boomerang ha has a lot of useful qualities. Uh, sometimes it can, like these tektites that are going down to a single sword screen, screen to see Falcon, if those tektites have rolled down, uh, you can kill them with boomerangs, which is really, really cool when that happens. And it really depends on when in the seed you decide that you're going to actually get that. All right, first because try force to the game. After a while, that boomerang has uh, less value to you. Yeah. Absolutely. There's some really nice uh, low health boomerang strats you can do that really aren't relevant uh, late in the game. But yeah, Sea Falcon getting that Triforce is not going to go back in for the stair item. Yeah, I think this is where the river boat is starting to show up. Also, Choosing he... not to come back in for the two items. Yeah, I mean... You know, I, I, has he seen the recorder? Uh, Sea Falcon has not Saitown the one that has the okay. recorder now. Let's so, he knows he can get an item on the on the coast. Uh, he will be uh, relatively happy that it's a recorder, so if he does choose to go back to 6, he can much easier have a much, much easier path to do so. And Sea Falcon choosing to continue or getting some bombs there, going over here to the Forgotten Spot has not gone back into that cave there that he burned to get to, because that will be where level 8 is. As Sea Falcon's about to pick up the uh, recorder. Alright, recorder for Sea Falcon. Uh, Sightown's gonna have to do a screen scroll to get across here. And back to the other the... side. Spot doesn't open up here for Sea Falcon. Remember, 35%. <laughs> I think we're Sightown. at like. Go ahead. I was going to say, Town finding eight and loping right on out. <laughs> and I think what it comes down to is Sea uh, Falcon knowing that we have a second quest uh, first half. Picks up the bait in case we need it yep. for 2Q3. I like it. The uh, the most likely relevant bait block in the game is 2Q3. Uh, 2Q8 is the next most likely. Uh, shapes and Q and 1Q7 eh, tend not to be required. Until they are. Once in a while they will be, but yeah, it's more often than not that you see them not be required. Here's uh, level 6 for Sighttown. Let's see if he uh, digs this at all. Probably gonna, looks like eh, I thought. Maybe, okay, gonna burn this bush. He might go back uh, from this direction so he can see if he can, if he can pop that key door. Well, Saitan at this point has not found out that we have a two Q one through six at this stage. So he has not. This is going to be unfortunate because Saitown's going to have to come back to get that recorder just in case it's required. Oh, Sea Falcon taking the death right there. I know that's not a spot that mm -mm. Sea Falcon wanted to die on. No, definitely not. But I think what Sea Falcon will now choose to do is, well, we're going to gear up here. I bombs. And then we're going to head over here to the forest and... I uh, used the recorder in a few spots. In addition to explore these other places that we saw from Sea Falcon, or rather from Side Town, just a few moments ago. Yeah, I'm a little surprised Side Town hasn't gone into either dungeon that he's found. He's hoping to find the small number dungeons. Game I think that's really do that. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of There's small one. number dungeons, one There's is one recorder is box. One. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, so the recorder is required. Not really a surprise. There are 11 recorder spots in the game. And that's one of our 11 spots uh, in the mixed quest that are that opened up. The, the, the nice bomb droppers in level 1. We have moblins that have uh, rolled down to 1. Blue uh, moblins at, three, at 1 HP is yeah. so to see. And half the time that you don't get that luxury. Well, and the interesting thing about this spot is uh, with the recorder, Sea Falcon can come back here and just farm those blue moblins if he ever needs to get bombs and doesn't have the money to buy them. So it's kind of a nice uh, situation to have that first room like that. I think the other thing is Saiton wants to find out what, what dungeons he needs at this point. But unfortunately, level one being here means Sea Falcon is going to at least be able to explore this, get maybe something nice out of here. Well, at least a I wouldn't consider a heart container nice, but I mean, it's it's okay. It, it at least is an item that you can now you mark grab it off and, and you know. About. Ooh, Saitan's in a really bad spot with these uh, dark nuts. Okay. Yeah. Should be okay now to get to this entrance. If this uh, red dark knight wants to cooperate, there we go. And you notice Sea Falcon avoiding that dark room. That dark room power braces the other item in one. Yeah, dark rooms can drop only keys, maps, compasses, bombs, yeah. those sort of things. Nothing that's considered important. Yeah, it will never drop the Triforce, nor will it drop a heart container or the or a other floor drop. Of uh, nice rupee boss. That was a really nice one. And see Falcon now sitting with a two Triforce lead while Sightown is exploring the overworld, trying to find where dungeons are. Yeah, well, he's found two dungeons and just hasn't even hasn't even peeked in them. Now eight uh has a couple hearts and some blocked things. Um, but six has the ladder, and he can't, he's not gonna be able to find one until he finds that ladder. So we'll see if he maybe finds two or three. I don't know if he's bought bait yet, but he hasn't, yeah, he doesn't know that this is a 2Q front half, so he doesn't know that three is gonna have that issue. All right, so I'm going to grab that nine bucks. See, Falcon going to get the, uh, I think it's only his second large. I think they've each got two and are missing the third one. It does max out his money, so. I, I mean, I don't wouldn't expect these runners to buy a blue ring, but, you know, if you just happen upon one with the money, uh, I could see it. And there's another of our take any. See, Falcon's going to wind up getting a potion for there. Yeah, I don't think he's gotten the letter yet. Uh, so, yeah, you, you don't know if that's ever going to show up. Not guaranteed. So grabbing the potion makes sense for him at this point. And plus, we have second quest somewhere, which means uh, red and red blue bubbles. bubbles exist. Everyone's favorite thing. Your mileage may vary. <laughs> There's the blue ring on the on, at the 250 rupee uh, vanilla price. And two tree. levels are recorder blocked. Oh yeah, if Saitan continues to avoid six, this could be very we start becoming more and more problematic. Two, of course, is the A. Sea Falcon's going to leave, move up to the screen to the north, yep. and open up that door for free. There we go. Level Light three for Sidon. Three. Well, he's going to, I mean, he might have already figured out. He doesn't have, yeah, okay, he has a key. Okay. Did he buy a key? Because I don't think he's been in a dungeon long enough to get a key. He's immediately he going to know this one. is. Yeah, he must have bought one. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, he, I mean, he sees the super ropes. He knows that this is going to have it's a super ropes. Blast. It's the right spot. It's a it's a room that looks like a transport room. Yeah, this is very obviously. And we have nice a combat staircase. here through the Lionels for Sea Falcon. Yeah, staircase for Sea Falcon. It could be an item. Uh, quest two two has a floor item and a and a staircase item. In this case, just the heart. oh 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 oh! Look what's sitting there on the blocks. Um, I I can't see it. It's mixed in with the color of those blocks. <laughs> Very nice find for Sightown. That is, you know, if, if I love a red ring, but if I'm playing someone like Sightown, I don't want him to be getting a red ring. <laughs> He's one of those players that really doesn't need it, but then just with that extra defense, just can go so much faster. Also of note, the bait block is not likely going to matter here, because we're going to go down through it. I like that color for level 2. Yeah, it matches the, uh, the red of the red ring. <laughs> Also, Sea Falcon has already found both oh, items. Oh, three. In level two. Yeah, you were it saying was a two. heart container. You're right. I like the, I like the color for level two as well. It's a nice, pretty purple. Uh, whereas Saitown's in this kind of orangey, you can't really see Link color. <laughs> well, I mean, you couldn't, but Sea Falcon, or not Sea Falcon, uh, Saitown picked up this uh, lovely little thing called a red ring to make it harder to see. Yep looking for that other item. I think the only room after this one that's left is the one with the... Oh! oh hey, what is... Okay, so nothing required in level 3, but if you're gonna get nothing required in a dungeon, those are the two items you want to find. And Sea Falcon needs to be somewhat careful here with these pulls voice of the current one and a half hearts. That is not blue ring co tunic color that Sea Falcon has, so one hit pops you back to start. Yeah, Pole's voice, I don't find Pole's voice super difficult, but you have to be super, super patient. You have to respect the very easy. Yeah, you have, it's very easy to just walk into them when you when you try to uh, swing that sword at them. Uh, so I think it's going to be really, yeah, going to be done with this three very quickly. Uh, see if Falcon picks up the Triforce out of two. He, we'll see if he goes back in. No, he's found both hearts. Oh, never mind. He's not going back in. Wow, he's good. Nine hearts already. <laughs> That's a lot of hearts. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting nine hearts to Side Town's five. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I think uh, makes sense for Side Town pick up that those arrows. Bait not gonna be nearly as as you know finding three to, to, to figure out that it's quest two and, Ooh, and finding power immediately. Power the back five. Well. Yeah, one of those chain reaction seeds. Hi, shoot room. Two recorder black dungeons, a power bracelet black dungeon that needed the... The recorder to get. I wonder if Saitan will... See okay, he's gonna go ahead and go into this eight. Yeah, now that he knows that this is either Shape 8 or 1Q8. I'm not sure what, what this is. Hmm. I still think this is 1Q8. You think, you, okay, well, we'll see. And unfortunately, Sidetown's going to get the same news that C. Falcon did, that... You can't get this Triforce right now. Yeah, it's a shame he didn't go into 6 before he went into 8. Because then he might have been able to get through this dungeon in one go. Although we do still have those Gomas. Uh, 
right? We see ourselves at Gliok, and we know this Gliok will not be a push block for a staircase. Yeah, something about the code. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Gliok's and staircases don't mix. And another thing is that there will not be any bomb walls. You're normally in level 5. In 2Q5. Sea Falcon's unfortunately spending a few bombs to find this out. Yeah. There's there's some weird exceptions. Like 7, the same thing, that is not supposed to have bomb walls but, in 2Q, but every once in a while there's the logic dictates that it must. So yeah. I, I don't blame him for trying the bombs. Has Saiton see, already seen the Triforce? Because he just skipped that compass. He must have seen the Triforce already. Okay, that was just a key that Sea Falcon picked up. Alright, well there's the compass for... Uh, si uh, for Sea Falcon. Ooh, book, book and five! Nice. And with lots of money, he can go ahead and uh, buy those hints and see if any of them are useful. Now, they're all true! But I, as I like to say, <laughs> they're always true, but they're not always helpful. Uh, either telling you things you already know, or uh, saying things in a way that actually doesn't help you as much as maybe it should. The thing is, is that the game knows when you don't buy them, and they put a nice, helpful hint that you could have used. I I'm looking at you, Red Ring in 3. <laughs> You know, and it actually we were we 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 were talking about after that race. Uh, will it would it ever be the right call to go back into a dungeon looking for a hint? Because like in your race, there was a that silver arrows hint in one, and of course you'd already done one by then. Oh look, there's a bomb wall in five. See, I told you. North to south. Right, there's, there's another heart container for Saitown. For Saitown. He doesn't want it. And he's done. Alright, this might be the staircase uh, room for Sea Falcon, the item staircase. Yeah, it's looking like a, a push block anyway. Uh, five, of course, has two transport staircases in Quest 2. So, For such a small dungeon, that's a lot of stairs. Yeah, and just think with normally the enemies are in five... Yeah, we've got wizard robes in, in quest Yes. In. And there's Silver a boomerang, boomerang. Sea falcon, so yeah, I think... Uh, he, he found the floor drop, right? Heart or something? Yep, the book was in five. Book. Book. It was red. <laughs> Had the color right. Okay, I think this is going to be six for Sightown. Yep. And Doesn't have to feel a little, wet. And you're going to feel a little rough. When you find that the ladder is here, but... Here and free. There's one room in. And there's the Triforce for Sea Falcon! Four Triforces for Sea Falcon here at the 31 minute mark. Yeah, very nice start for him. We are still yep. looking for levels four and seven, by the way. Yeah, yeah, definitely a nice advantage for Sea Falcon here. Uh, I would never count Sightown out, but uh, oh. definitely building up a pretty decent lead that could carry him through. And I do know what Sea Falcon is going to find next. What's he going to find next? Nope, he's not going to go that way. Never mind. I thought oh, he was going to go to the left to find level 3. Well, he might get back there. I mean, yes, but what if he finds 4 or 7 in one of these slots that we're going to be checking here? Yeah, and 7 can really eat up some time. Both levels can eat up a lot of time, especially considering how wide that level is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Q14 and Q... Sorry, Q24 and Q17. Uh, some of the worst dungeons you can get. See, Saitown skipping another heart. 
By the way, that heart container means that Sea Falcon did not make any bad decision. Uh, leaving with just the Triforce out of that six will not be penalized. The only way he gets Unless penalized he is, is if he comes back. The arrow is not one of our 11. Because, you know, we're still looking for a bow. We're still looking for silvers. Silvers, of course, can be literally anywhere. Bow can be most places. Uh, those of us who have been playing a bunch of the practice seeds have found a lot of bows in nine. To the point, I haven't, I don't think I've seen a bow in nine yet during the tournament, during the actual tournament. Now, granted, I've not watched all the races. That's a couple I do want to watch back. Um, but given the amount of bows we were finding in nine during the practice seeds, I, I'm a little surprised I haven't seen a bow in nine yet. <laughs> One of my uh, early practice races for this was the bow in nine. And the, uh, one of the, the one of the inf more infamous ones had a bow in nine, uh, nine and seven were both under power bracelets, and we had the hint that said a feat of strength will lead to the bow. <laughs> and kind of the, the race was kind of divided between those that went looking for it in seven and looking for it in nine. Why ever would you want to do that? And to make matters worse, the uh, as, as far as we can tell, since we never found it, the uh, map to seven was under a goma. All right, Sea Falcon coming back into eight to get this uh, Triforce and probably GTFO. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason to stay here, especially since there's a really good chance that second staircase item is under a goma and you still can't kill that. And you know it's not going to be your bow. So watch it, it'll be your silvers. It, it could be your silvers, though. That's why I said, watch it be your silvers. <laughs> yep. Silvers like to hide under Gomos, and if not Gomos, under Pole's voice. <laughs> that won me a race back in uh, years ago. Oh, yeah? Neat. Pole's voice or Goma? Uh, Goma. Good old silvers and seven. Th Speaking of seven, there it is! Oh, that's Power a... bracelet blocked! Oh my. Yeah, we have two recorder <laughs> black dungeons, two power bracelet black dungeons. Yeah, remember how I said we didn't need to actually put the uh the the flag in that there needs to be a block dungeon? Here we are. <laughs> this this is why. Side tell him back into eight, gonna yeah, get this. Yeah, just gonna grab that triforce. Before he goes back and does more recorder spots, no doubt. Yeah, he's gonna know what the reason at this point, as you pointed out, that Goma's saying enough. I'm not sure Saitel found saw the Goma. Yeah, yeah, because he's Apparently going. Apparently not. Yeah, no, okay. He, he, uh, oh, that I don't know. If, I don't you... know if that was purposely, but every once in a while, you know, the thing, the the game spits you out in a place that you end yep. up walking right back in, and yep, yeah. that hit left. Jig Dugger no. grazes at the gate grave. Uh, that's level five. We've already yep, seen we've that. Yeah, we've been there. Been there, done that. I I was wondering if that was a pointer thing at that stage, but no, we've already exhausted all of our grave spots. Yeah, and Saitan's just going to clean up these last area, this last little area in Death Mountain and uh, the river spots here. Uh, and then probably goes back to up base to start and goes towards back towards the Deadwoods and those uh, recorder spots. Would be kind of rough for Saitown is if we find level four over here. Mm. But we don't. It's not one of our. Uh, it's not one of our uh, eleven. See Falcon. Meanwhile, gonna be could be in this seven for a while. I mean, level 7 does level 7 things. Yeah. Saitown's going to find level 1 in just a moment. Ever notice how when the, when the spot opens in that location, the trees do this kind of glowy thing? Yeah, it does that in the graveyard area, definitely. 
I want to say it does it once in a while in the forest, but it's not in specific spots. But yeah, you can tell that it's changing over something. Yep. And we have ourselves nice a staircase in seven. With a heart container. And Sea Falcon continued to take, continuing to take the heart containers, whereas Sightown stopped. <laughs> Which, have you know, not found, unusual for him. Have we found Magical Sword yet? I don't think so. There's not a lot of spots left in this map. There there aren't. And we need a Magical Sword and we need a uh, a level 4. A 2Q4, yeah. And we don't say Town is definitely a very solid runner at this game. Uh, what, what was it? Got like a 49 something in a pickup race on Monday? No, it was a Terrible 38. Heart seven. <laughs> I played that scene and was pretty happy to finish in under two hours. Uh, just kind of give you an idea of the difference in, in gameplay. <laughs> okay, picked up that needed uh, power bracelet. Uh, there's also spouting out the. the the, uh, the two Q4 uh, lies. <laughs> Always seven. Until it's not. I mean, it's double heart yeah, seven this time around. Now, there's going to be a bomb upgrade here. Hopefully, Sea Falcon finds that. At least. Oh. Uh, he's not killing that Dodongo. Oh, maybe well, he is. Well, maybe he is. <laughs> <laughs> the game says go back and kill the Dodongo. Try again. Yeah, Saitown leaving the take any. In this case, uh, he, he leaves the take any uh, in case he needs a free potion later. Although the pr potion price is, it may just be quicker for him to grab enough to buy another one if he so chooses. Town just around the corner from getting into level two. And if you don't watch out. Sea Falcon here has a little bit of a knowledge advantage, but Sidetown is starting to turn on the jets here. Yep. I mean, for, from a pure just ability to, to play the game and, and co combat-wise and such, Sidetown is one of my favorite runners to watch. And he also is doing this with the defense advantage with that red yep. ring. Something that oh, yeah. Steve Falcon has like not said, gotten the three to get. Like, like I say, Sightown does not need that red ring by any means, but when he gets it, uh, it just lets him, you know, just the, the, the combat advantage that he already has over the majority of our players. Um, and, and that kind of combat of... Just, uh, go ahead. You know, like, goes, you know, just gets so much greater. And that competitive advantage there is like, I mean, I take a look at how things were with regards to Crystal Saber, who, when you give Crystal Saber a red ring in the early days of uh, the ZM1R, and even nowadays, it's just like you're inviting face mm -hmm. tank mode and he yep. just will go extremely fast as a result. Yeah, when when Sea Falcon sees the red ring in three, uh, I think mo most of the time runners will be excited to see a red ring. Um, I know if in, in his spot, I'd be very wor you know I'd be hoping. Okay, I really hope I got to this before Side Town did. Yeah, because that's as later, free as free gets. And the later we get into this seed without uh, Sea Falcon getting into three, uh, the chances of that is significantly lower. Yep. Now, Sea Falcon with six keys is probably going to be fine, but 
he's probably there's a good chance he misses the any key that's also in three it's also speeding upside down because he doesn't have to worry about killing things to get key drops or going out of his way to pick up key drops so that's another uh you know maybe a little less less of a factor than the red ring but definitely definitely a factor and with that we are tied up on the triforce count now five five Yeah, and uh, Saitown's going to get to level 5 relatively soon, I believe. There's Sea Falcon having to burn that potion because he's still on uh, still on no rings. Yeah, and that, like, like as much as it can be contained, you don't want to take a death here because you're deep into the 7. Yeah, and there Saitown finds level 5. Oh, Goma. In a potential drop room. Just what you That's want fun. to see. Now, the main thing we don't know is what's in four. Because we haven't found it. But we have all our overworld block items at this point, so it, it's going to be available. And there's only a few spots left on the map that I see that we haven't gotten to, including 2Q4's spot itself. Mm -hmm in the Lost Hills push block, but there's also the letter push block in uh, Death Mountain as well. Yeah, and in fact, um, Saitown with with the Trif... Well, Sea Falcon will be able to push it when he gets to three. So he'll be right there. Saitown will be able to record her back to it. So it's, it's one of those locations that can be really hard to get, get to, but uh, in this situation, they're going to get to it relatively easily. I'll see shout outs to being able to use a boomerang against the bats, you know, it doesn't always happen, you know, those bats can roll up and, you know, anybody who's ever experienced two, two HP bats knows what I'm talking about, but it's so nice. What when you can are you talking about? <laughs> Hi, Goma. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. I mean, <laughs> it, it's always such a rough feeling when you get, uh, throw the boomerang at the bat and it just sticks, stays there, yep. does nothing. Doesn't even stun them. There's our bomb upgrade. Yeah, plus I figured you six. Yeah, six. Plus six is really good. This will not be your Triforce. But hey, we're going to pick the map up. And then we're going to cry. Because uh, this neck of uh, seven has not yielded the Triforce. And we've only got just a few amount of rooms remaining. Yeah, this this uh, seven ugh, seven is just so so trolly that way. And uh, you know, Which and, and you don't you don't need the map. Yeah. When it's one of these vanilla dungeons, but I I personally like having the map if it's easy to get to. Uh, just that that extra visual guide of where you are on the screen I find super useful. Um. Certainly, I wouldn't go far out of my way for it. Oh, there's a compass. Oh, it's All the tip of the way. nose. At the tip of the nose. At the tip of the nose. And Sea Falcon does not want to take a death here. We've already suffered one death in this seven. Yep. Cannot afford another one at this point. The so Saito could possibly have a much quicker. Seven, if he doesn't dig it. Now, he might... I mean, we still don't, haven't found Bow. We still haven't found Silvers. It would not surprise me if he digs it, but it is a Quest 1-7. And... One of the things I've noticed over the last few years with Saitown is if he can... If he gets a quick Triforce, uh, he will often just leave a dungeon, especially a larger dungeon like Seven. So, answering chat, have we seen the floor item in Seven? Yes, we have. It is the Heart Container. Uh, we've had uh, heart containers in one, double heart in two, double heart in seven, double heart in eight so far. The third item is uh, presumably Goma blocked. All right, and some we hints. are. Yep, okay. see Falcon gets that hint. Feet of strength will lead to the bow. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, I mean, we only had power bracelet spots remaining. That's true. And play a melody to obtain the power bracelet. 
we've already gotten Actually, that. Though, though what's significant about that hint is we know the bow is not in nine. Nine's not behind a power bracelet. Now, silvers could still be in nine. Yep. And I am surprised that Sea Falcon has not chosen to go to the power bracelet spots here at this point, getting that news about the bow, but... I think he's going there. Oh, I, okay. He's going to go the He hasn't powers? seen three yet, so he's still missing two dungeons, three and four. That's true. So Bo is presumably in four. I think at this point it has to be in four. Now, Silvers. Who knows? <laughs> right. But the Bo at this point, 100% has to be in level four. Now, has Sightown found either of, the, either of the hearts yet in five? I want to I say one might he's be in here. found one, but not the other. Okay. All right, is this where 2Q4 is? Nope. Ah. <laughs> uh, you thought you were going to find 2Q4 here. And... I he thought maybe he yeah. chooses to go I, for the heart. I thought maybe he'd go for the, the potion here since he'd already used the, the potion that he had. But I think he does. Ha I mean, I, I know Saitan has the letter. I gotta assume Sai the Sea Falcon has it as well. Yeah, I think uh, somebody was asking about the. Uh... Oh, the yeah, it was a wand. The Night Town has a mark, but does not have it. I think that was a misclick by our tracker. Uh, by the way, big shout outs to our tracker here as we reach the 50 minute mark of this race. Uh, Special K doing the tracking for us, making the buttons click and seeing them appear on your screen. As I always say, trackers always the MVPs. Cannot do it without them. Now, Sea Falcon has the letter. There we go. And Saitan has the Triforce out of five. Tying up that Triforce count once again. Six to six in favor of nobody but us here in <laughs> chat. Week number one of the Swiss tournament. Five weeks of Swiss is going to be fun. I think Saitan just recorded to five. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that happens. Like, you, you, you record her once to kind of see where you're at. And then... And then once you've done that, you, uh... You know where you're going. Is, is this, this gonna be... Four? Yes, it, it is. is. Oh, wow. Okay, so, I mean, it's fine for Sea Falcon. Because, um... He's gonna get here for level 3 anyway. Uh, Sightown, on the other hand... This is great for him, except that he doesn't know the bow is in here. And four is a nasty, nasty dungeon. And we've got wizard robes in four, because why shouldn't we have wizard robes in four? I mean, we haven't seen wizard robes at all yet until this point. Well, they have to be somewhere right now. <laughs> yeah, <force>. okay. <laughs> well, okay, so Saitown gets the Triforce. Do you leave? Yeah, he's leaving. Oh my goodness, he's gonna have to come back. Yeah, but, but he's, he's got a recorder. He just needs to go to three or four and he can get there easily enough. So, uh, uh, he's he has the book. You gotta check the hints here. The hints are so powerful in this mode. Uh, that's useless. That's, that's useless. That's something we already know. And, and red we, candle in four as well. Candle. Okay, well, yeah. Yeah, Saita's heading straight for those hints. Which means he's gonna record right back to four to look for that bow. Yeah, but he's yeah, he's gonna get that right now about the uh, feet of strength, but he hasn't found seven yet. No, but I think you look for you I mean, look for the bow first, don't you? Chris, was seven under 
Where was seven? Seven was under a power braces spot. Was. <laughs> For those of you who are just tuning into this match, we have multiple power bracelet and recorder blocked levels. One and two were recorder blocked levels. Four, five, and seven were power bracelet blocked. We have five item blocked dungeons. And a magic sword for Sea Falcon on 12 hearts. Okay, he's going to retry out of that hit, those, the hint money. All right. Sea Falcon is going to get level four right now. Little bit of a shame that he's going to get. Well, level four before he just level need three. to die first. Please be careful. Get in there. There we go. Yeah, Saitan going for the other set of hints. I think yeah. Sea Falcon wants that level three. Yeah, he's he's gonna he doesn't want to go right into that into into four. I mean, four is a nasty dungeon, as I say. Okay, so Saitown has all the hint information, but for him, like you say, he hasn't found seven yet. See, uh, Saitown will find seven soon, but the problem is finding that feat of strength actually will cause Saitown to dig this to level seven. Well, he's got to choose, right? You got to choose between seven and, and, and four, and... Both are they're not the best of locations to check. Yeah, they're both horrible. <laughs> oh, magical sword for Sea Falcon, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, you you miss me saying that. <laughs> well, I'm trying to take care of something else at this That's point. Okay. Don't mind me. What, I mean, you're you're not trying to do. You're trying to do multiple things at once. I've never seen you have to do that before. <laughs> what are doing multiple things at once? <laughs> All right, Sea Falcon does find level three. We'll very shortly get this this easy to find red ring. We'll see if he also gets the key, the any key out of here. But yeah, magic sword and red ring for Sea Falcon is going to let him go through the wizard robes of level four a lot easier than Saitown, so that, that combat advantage that Saitown has kind of is basically been negated by the uh, by Sea Falcon with the with the magic sword. Now could go back into this three looking for silvers. If he does he'll get his, his any key. Alright, Sea Falcon gets that Triforce out of level three, knowing that the bow is in four has no reason or we'll no go back he's in. well silvers he's looking for silvers true okay and in three is such a small dungeon I think this makes a lot of sense to go looking for those silvers he's gonna get a nice consolation prize a uh, minor at six hearts but yeah like if you only if you had one or two I would say that is a much bigger deal but yeah I mean it's still keys. not a bad find. It's not, I mean, it's still six not a bad keys find. going into a level nine is usually pretty good, but it is a quest one nine. So you know, it does feel better to have the uh, to have that that Eddie key. Now he is going to kill this this uh, Patra, which maybe drops a key, but we don't know. Uh, Saitown did not bother with it, uh, or drops bombs. It. Oh yeah, he's got the bomb upgrade. So yeah, yeah. pick them up. Both runners now with that upgrade up to. Uh... 14 bombs. Yeah, and they could find another one in four. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, I can multitask. Also, I, lo I love it when you, I mean, Sci Falcon going ahead and giving up the bait, even though he knows he doesn't. Just get it out of your inventory. I like that. Yeah. So you don't have to deal with that on your select swap. Yep. Okay. I got bubbled. Yeah, a little unfortunate. Yeah, he's just gonna use the potion. 
Yeah, we don't have anything else to use against them. We don't have the wand, which at this point, based on what we've been told, more than likely is in nine, but not guaranteed. Yeah, so we have a red candle and a bow in four and something else. And then we're yeah, also we missing the, yeah, the we wand and the and the silvers. Yep. All right, here we are, <laughs> level nothing. four. We know there's a bow here. Where is it? And you can see Sightown spending a lot of time in this seven. Sea Falcon yep. spent a lot of time in seven as well. There's the bow. There's the bow. Now, do you Still bet looking on for the silvers and nine, or do you? Now, he hasn't gotten the Triforce out of here yet because he went took a different direction than Saitama yeah. did. Uh, I think you press nine at this point. You're an hour in, and you're up against Saitam. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. There's still, you know, I might go back to that spot in eight. There was a Goma blocked, uh, what looked like could be a staircase in level eight. Uh, he knows exactly where it is. Uh, I don't think Saitam saw it. Um, I think you go back there first because you know exactly that location. And that's a tough thing, because uh, you are correct in that assessment. And, I mean, we I, I can speak based on what happened to me last night and not, mm -hmm. going, and not going back to a place of knowledge that there was an item, yep. and it burnt me. Mm -hmm. See, Falcon's grabbing this Triforce. The thing about going to 9, though, is that with helpful hints on... It increases the likelihood that you're going to see the silver these silvers to kill the beast lie in blank of skull, or the silvers to kill the beast yep. lie elsewhere. And if that's the case, it's the Falcon's race to lose. And. I it's just, it's such a quick location. Like, you know exactly where it is. Saitown's still struggling trying to get through this this seven. And yeah. by struggling, and, we're, I mean by looking. Uh, and it doesn't help for Saitown that the Triforce was all the way in the tip. Yep, and we are switching over to Sea Falcon's sound so that we can hear the roar of Ganon. I we do need to find to hear some this awesome silvers music. first. I mean, it is kind of nice to have a different bit of music uh, when you get to nine, as opposed to the other eight dungeons. Yeah, Wizards in nine, really good for Sea Falcon, as it turns out, with that magic sword that, that Sightown is just not going to have. And it almost had to be at this point. Yeah, we only saw them in like one dungeon, so it kind of yeah. had. Cause the, the way the enemy groups get split up, they have to be in at least two dungeons and can be in a maximum of five. Hey, it's that room in uh, 1Q7. Yeah, that's such a dumb room. Now, has Saitam found either of the items in here, either of the hearts? I have not been keeping track. Yeah, I've been watching Sea Falcon because he was the one going into four. And then, of course, now in level nine, where this is where our focus is. Is this what we're looking for? Two items in nine. Is this one of them? No. No. I mean, there's six. You know, there's there's six uh, transports. So there's fourteen staircases. <laughs> it's a lot of staircases. And with uh, second quest uh, mechanics on, this could very well be one of the rooms, too, that we're looking for, but it has a drop, so no. So I think Sea Falcon's going to... Well, I thought he was going to take the staircase, but he yeah, wants to get over to that heart. other side. There's, the there's our map. If I remember correctly, the compass was... Basically, you just go to the top... Just keep going right, and eventually you find a compass to tell you that the uh, the Triforce is at that at that nose tip. Yeah, the the compass was only like two rooms away. 
I mean, that seems to happen a lot. Hey, here's a compass. Hey, there's the Triforce. Next room, next rooms, next rooms. It's always one f wonderful when you have to walk through the Triforce room in order to get to the compass. No, there's the other there's heart the down. And the only thing he's got left is that top, so he's going to know to go back to four. Yeah, he chased the, unfortunately, with three power bracelet block dungeons, went after the wrong uh, feat of strength at this point. Yep. Is this the staircase we are looking for? No, it's transport number two. In the end, though, the bigger factor, the thing that puts Saitown behind is just he didn't go into six. Yeah. When he found it. This and being just... a chain reaction seed helps see Falcon out so much. Yep, because Six had the ladder. Zelda. Hi, Zelda. Six had that ladder, which led to the recorder on the coast, which led to two recorder block dungeons, which led to a power bracelet, which led to three power bracelet block dungeons, which led to a bow. And the thing for Sightown is, if Sightown watches this back... Sea Falcon's time inside of this level was about the same. Yeah. So both players pretty much 33 out of 33 this level 7. Transport Staircase 3. Here we get ourselves to the like, northwest corner. I feel like Saitown's best chance is if he gets the bow in 4 and gamble silvers not in nine. Nope, they're in nine! Except they're in nine, okay. Well, that was was his best chance, and now we know that's not going to work out. How about that timing, Tracy? I know, right? Right as I'm saying it. Game says, Tracy, guess what? They're here! You know, you know, now the are shame, they in this room? The, the shame of it is... There they are. Um, If Saitown had gone left instead of going right, he just gets the bow. Yeah. And that would have, you know, he just, you know, and this game is all about this. You, one player zigs when the other one zags, and one's right and one's wrong. And, uh, and the thing is, is that wrong level order. Two Q four does that. Two Q four does that. The also a two Q four bad. <laughs> if you're still here. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. He'll send the flock after you. <laughs> See, Falcon needs to stop walking into the wall. <laughs> I know he's tracking at that point, but <laughs> time is of I'm the essence. I'm sure we'll get our chance oh, on comps no. again. Oh, no. Sidetown's going after the uh, Goma in eight. I mean, it it's the right decision and the wrong decision. It, For him, it it's the right decision in the sense of it gives him a better chance to win. We just know that the answer is not there. It makes sense, but it buys Sea Falcon some more nine exploration time. Yep, it absolutely does. And he already and, knows two of the three mechanics he needs. Yeah, and unless Ganon's really, well, this is the thing I always say, because we always call nine the great equalizer, right? Oh, that's war. Ganon. Right here. And Zelda's only yeah. like three rooms to the south. I mean, it's a nice item. That's not what Saitown wanted to find. White sword and eight. Watch out, Owen ones. Saitown is <laughs> about coming. to head down to that part <laughs> of the Hyrule. You've got Antlers, you've got me, you've got El Soa, you've got J. Cooper, and now Sightown is uh, about to join them. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> um, how, how would you Fury, like to pay Sightown next how much, week? Fury, how much can <laughs> I pay you to rig the wheel? Would he rig the wheel or would we have to get Fred to rig it? Okay. Either or. 
See, this is why I just don't play in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it's so much fun! Pain! Misery! Get ready to get your GG's out. What a great match this was. But C Falcon will have defeated Sightown in week one of the Swiss. Get your GG's in chat. We'll finish up with an official race time of 107.43. And as you pointed out, the big thing for Sidetown was skipping over six, skipping over that ladder. It was one room in. On, that, 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 I mean, on, that right there is just, that's got to hurt. One room on in. On a chain reaction seed. And I think that was the biggest thing that helped see Falcon. The mm -hmm. fact that it was not just the fact that the ladder was six, but yep. it was a chain reaction seed. I mean, there was a second piece if, you know, in, in level four, uh, since Saitan did not yet know that the bow was in there. He goes, he goes right one room, finds the Triforce immediately. If he goes left at start, he finds the, the bow. And then right. they're looking in nine, probably at the same time, honestly. Yeah, um, yeah, and I think Saitan makes the play for level nine. But then again, level seven with that deep Triforce didn't help matters at all. No, no, that deep tri well, the deep dig into seven also being under a power bracelet. Like I say, the hints are always true. But they're not always as helpful as they could be. And sometimes they're not helpful at all and they can lead you in the wrong direction. In this case, like I think, you know, you go, you're looking for the Triforce anyway, you 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 find seven under power bracelet, bracelet, you do it. And we do have Sea Falcon joining us. GG's. Well done. Oh god, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was about to embarrass myself and die again like an idiot right in front of everyone. <laughs> Got some trouble at the end there. Plus, I'm bracing side town, and I thought at worst he was like or, or sorry, at best for me he was on top of me basically, so. <laughs> Well, okay, I know how much you were listening before you came in, but uh, the, the biggest play in the game turned out uh, you just going into six when you found it. Finding that ladder immediately. Ladder leads to uh, recorder, leads to power bracelet, leads to five dungeons and a bow. Second biggest play of the game is you already knew the bow was in four when you got there. Uh, when you entered, you went left, found a bow, then picked up the Triforce. When Sightown found four, he did not have that knowledge. Went went right one, got the Triforce, and left. And because Seven was also under a power brace bracelet spot, uh, you basically evened out on time in there, because you both basically full cleared it. Yeah, you both 33 out of 33, that's Seven. Yeah. One Q7 bad. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I thought that I honestly thought that was what was gonna lose with the the race because both items in the Triforce were both were all in like the upper right part I think mm -hmm. so yeah um, the path I mean the path wasn't exactly simple but um, yeah uh, honestly getting both of it, like uh, I had to double check my tracker actually when I picked up those like hints of oh this is PB locked this is PB locked I was like hold on <laughs> okay not, not wasn't seven on both items wasn't five. It must be for this PB block that I haven't found yet. Mm -hmm. um, how how many times have you had a five item blocked d uh, seed? <laughs> uh, this this I, this might be the first. I can't think of any off the top of my my head that were that have been like this. And I was just insane playing it. It's like every time I found a dungeon, another one, I'm like, oh, here's another one that's blocked. Here's another one. All right, no, really, how many are actually blocked? <laughs> I, I feel like I've seen three where, where like, you have a raft, power bracelet, and recorder all blocking something. But yeah, like, five is, is excessive. <laughs> Let me ask you this, since we just saw Sidetown see that hint. How happy were you to see that hint about the silvers being the northwest of Skull? Uh... I mean, I'm. I was definitely glad that going to nine uh, worked because even with uh, my knowledge of, uh, was it? I got a hint that red candle was also PB. Right. It, it was, it, which means it was also in four. But um, yep, that's right. It still left me another item in four. Uh, yep. Something in six. Something in eight, which I think might have been under a goma. I saw. And yep. It was. Nine, it so it I, was, and it was a white sword because Saitan yep. just went there before going into nine. 
Yeah, Saitung saw the. I don't think he picked it up, but he did see the heart in in six. So we've seen. So for us, it was one item in four, one item in eight, until Saitung went back to get it, and the the two items in 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 four. Yeah, white sword was the the Goma block. Gotcha. But yeah, I was uh. I was re I was relieved when I saw the hint, and even more relieved that uh, you just walk right and up, and it was right there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just walk right and up. Yeah, and you're you. I mean, it's funny because um, I, I I haven't seen your name in as many of the practice races. Um, the practice races have had a ton of bows in nine, not a lot of silvers in nine. Um, but the seems like this week. I've been seeing more silvers in nine like you normally would uh, than bows in nine. So maybe it's evening itself out. I don't know. Well, I did play. I did happen to play one of the weeklies with the bow in nine. So uh, <laughs> I, ended, I ended up getting a taste of that anyway with what few nice. races I did. Um, yeah, playing in two if, render, playing in two render turns in once isn't easy. I've not had a lot of time to like practice it, but I wanted to get a few races in. Which uh, which uh, other tournament are you in? Ocarina time. They're in the bracket uh, stage, and I'm in the oh my god. Right as well. So, <laughs> well, good luck in that too. Uh, that's a that's another Zelda, but a very different Zelda. <laughs> and we're gonna pause for just a second. Get your GGs in chat for Sight Town. Finishing off the seed. Official race time of one thirteen forty eight. And watch out, all of you zero and ones. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> All right. We'll see yeah, if, uh... we, we will get Saitown in here to discuss this. A lot of races going on tonight. So uh, I do know that there's still one currently in progress over on Z1 Randomizer. Uh, nice. That is going on. That is between Vincent and Jewis. Uh, that one's about an hour and 15 in. But that one is still going on. And let's see what what can I talk about here? We 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 should have the schedule popped up here real soon. So, Sea Falcon, we, we we joke about how difficult the O1 is, and you know, and really, it's not joking because there are some very good players, uh, not just Sightown in the O1. But there's also some very good players in the 10, which means you're gonna have to face one of those guys. Who who would you like to face? Uh, well, admittedly, I don't like have any particular names, and also, forgive me, I've been only able to watch like half the matches this week. So, uh, At, well, I, I, need, I, I defy you, up. I defy you to watch every match. Well, <laughs> yeah, so that's many. fair. <laughs> I need to get, I need to get caught up on who the the one O's are, but uh, mm -hmm. um, you know, I <sighs> maybe I'll just put it a different way. Uh, is there anybody you would like to face in this tournament? Um, forgetting whether they're one O or or O one. Or oh oh, because they haven't played yet. Like I said, I don't I don't have any like particular you know uh, names. Like I the the thing is like this field is so stacked that um any like any matchup I get is not going to be not going to be there. Be we easy, go easy. Let's get Sight Town in here so we can discuss this together. Yeah, GG Sight Town. Uh, I think he's having some issues. Jump back to set up. He'll be back right back, I'm sure. There, there we, we go. go. Maybe. Sorry about that. My, uh, uh, no worries. Yay. My stuff wasn't working. No worries. Um, GG's, first of all. Um, bit of a, a couple of rough, rough... I mean, you still played that seed really well. Just a couple unfortunate decisions in there uh, set you back. Yeah, I... Uh... Level five being lost for a minute, and then uh, seven touching every room. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, bo bo both of you touched all rooms of level seven. So if it makes you feel any better, yeah. The yeah. The, the biggest issue was just not going into six. 
and getting that that one room ladder, which led to the oh. recorder, which led to the power bracelet, which led to fi all combined five dungeons. And I then the less. That. It was. Mm -hmm. uh, it. It was. Uh, I wanted to figure out. Like I wanted to find like one through three to start. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and that's and what I thought you were. Really up to. good for you. Yeah, I mean, three was amazing. I had all the keys and a red ring. Um, yep. I know it was 25 minutes in before I had a Triforce, but yep. um, I loaded at that point, so it felt okay. I mean, Did like, you're, you're so much fun to watch with, in combat, with combat in general. Uh, when you get that red ring, it's just, like, just added bonus. Just the way you can just go through enemies, even on a wood sword. And, and you were starting to make a hefty comeback. You were, like, we saw you starting to turn on the uh, jets in this seed. Yep. Then level four happened. Yep. Yeah. Um, still, I mean, I, I think Falcon just way outplayed me on this one because even with the six and the four, the way it happened, um, you know, it was only two extra rooms when I whistled back to four later. Mm -hmm. um, and the only thing the ladder really cost me was one room um, in eight that I had to go back and do for mm -hmm. the Triforce. Um so it wasn't it wasn't too terrible other than that. I just um I I just played too slow compared to my competitor. So Yeah. I just wonder, okay, let me ask you this question then. If you had gotten the bow out of four before uh finding seven, do you dig seven as, as deep as you as you did? Well, it wouldn't have mattered because I found both items before I found the triforce. Okay, fair so. enough. <laughs> Um, I would have, I would have gathered those items either way, um, mm -hmm. just by chance. Um, it's, it's, um, when I play it back, I'll watch this later just because I try to figure out what stupidities I had other than the ones that <laughs> Fair I Fair enough, yep, mm hmm Um, but, uh, uh, other than level five, I felt like everything in this, in this race went just fine. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, I genuinely thought I was at the bottom of five and that's why I couldn't for the life of me oh out i got gotcha. you okay um, yeah i don't think we really noticed the, the difficulties in level five i forget where I, c falcon was at the time but he was covering both new ground you, to be, to be I fair I, I did i actually did that in five too because five's so yeah Q five's not supposed to have bomb holes like that so it threw me off for a second until yeah i realized where i was at yeah, yeah. i i've heard that 2q5 and 2q7 are not supposed to have bomb walls but can if logic dictate dictates they do I don't entirely know what that means in terms of logic dictates, but that is what I've I've heard. So take that however you will. <laughs> it it got me pretty good today, but um, yeah, that that was a crazy bomb hall bomb wall there in uh, level uh, level five. Uh, so let me ask you this: uh, What made you decide to go back to eight? Was it because of the known item, Saitown? Yeah, because I knew uh, all I needed was a bow to check that item, and I was going to go there before I hit nine. Yeah, I, I really liked that play. I mean, by the time you did it, we knew it wasn't the right answer. But just yeah. from the standpoint of what would get you a win, uh, Silver Arrows being there, I think, gets you the win. If they were there instead of a nine. It could have been, but um, I, I didn't, like, I didn't want to walk into nine with more than a 50-50 chance. Mm -hmm. Over's not being there even with the yep. book, so yep. I, um, that just basically meant it was either in four or nine at that point. So, yep. and it being the white sword didn't hurt anything. That was nice, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. I honestly, I probably should have went back because I knew that that was the room. But if I had seen the white sword, I'd been really sad because I had mags at that point. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I did not go down any staircases for hearts. I didn't pick up take any's. I was I was gone because I had the red yep. ring. So yeah, I I, know, I mean it's it's unusual. I, I to, for me to see you with more than like six or eight hearts, you know. So yeah, I mean if if I if I'm just pouring on the hearts early and um, mm -hmm. all that stuff, that's fine. I'll pick up all the hearts. Sometimes yep. it just happens. But, yep. Um, uh, for the most part, especially if I have an early red ring, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you lose basically three quarters of a second every heart load on on a triforce. Like it's it's it becomes worth it after a while. But normally, it's just red ring. I'm I'm feeling fine. Yeah, now, that's of course, understandable. 
And of course, unfortunately, that sends you to the O1 bracket, joining a lot of other really good players that are in the O1 bracket. Um, any thoughts on who who you might want to play? Oh, I don't give a crap. Just make it somebody <laughs> good, and we'll have some more fun. Okay, awesome. I like to hear that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. the attitude. Yeah, which means not? I'll probably yeah. draw you now. <laughs> also, I, one 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 other thing I, I've got to mention. I I I played the seed that you got a thirty eight on the other day, just because I had to yeah. see if I could sub to it. I did, and then I watched back your thirty eight. <laughs> Um, that that was amazing. Not every day that you only have to hit thirty some odd overworld spots. <laughs> that was game, that was a thing of beauty. I very much enjoyed that. It's also really really dumb luck, but I'll, I'll take it. Either <laughs> yeah, way. you know the, the you know being good and having a little bit of luck combined gets you a thirty eight. So <laughs> that's I'll take it. But uh, all right, well I, I need to get out of here. But thank you all so much for doing what you do, and, and Falcon, good job kicking my butt tonight. Oh, well, th thank you, Sai. And of course, good luck in the uh, the rest of the tourney. And who who knows when we get to the the bracket round, maybe we'll meet again. Let's do it again. Yes. Take care. Can't wait for the run it's back there. Get the GGs in chat again for these two great competitors. See Falcon. And Side Town, two wonderful people here in the community. All right, so Tracy M, we've got some great races coming up uh, tomorrow. Uh, starting off with a f early matinee of a three o'clock bogey smalls versus Roost Slugs. Uh, I hear you're going to be on the call. For yep, that one. that's going to me and Je me and Jess Andy. We're actually we we live a few miles away from each other. We're going to go have lunch and then we're going to go home and we're going to call a race. Uh, nice. I, unfortunately, I don't think we either one of us has a setup for us to do it in the same location, but we might have to work <laughs> on that to try and figure out how to do that sometime. Maybe down the road. Maybe down the road. Uh, also, added Genos versus Jam is going to be tomorrow at 7.30 in a nice old school matchup between those two. Bakuda versus Captain Green uh, at 9.30. Catastrophe versus Equations at 10 p.m. Dr. J PhD versus Space Dog at 10 p.m. Kennedy versus Brewers Fan JP at 10 p.m. And Eat My Steel versus Endy Endy at 11 p.m. tomorrow night. Also tomorrow night, Groundhog's Day, which means the Groundhog's Day 2024 race will be at 9.30 p.m. Eastern as well. Uh, that should be a fun race for people who do partake in that. If you want to watch the race, we're going to be doing it again for the uh, weekly on Sunday. Yeah, the, the Groundhogs, I called that race last year. That was a lot of fun. A lot of chaos, but a lot of fun. <laughs> and a big thank you to Special K for tracking for us and for the crew here at Speed Gaming. I'm at Aranda Crick saying thank you for joining us. Tracy, you have the final word. Yeah, uh, Thank you all. Uh, we can't do it without you. And of course, uh, again, Special K, our MVP tracker today. And yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.